Uniform Appraisal Data Set. Chapter 3, Uniform Appraisal Data Set, Appendix D, page 32, location. Similar to the rating or view, the appraiser is required to select N, B, or A for an overall location rating. As displayed in the table below from Appendix D, the appraiser must make this selection for the subject property and all comparable properties. And uh, such as like adverse A, uh, B, S, Y, R, D for busy road, res, your abbreviated entry, N is for neutral, B is for beneficial, A is for adverse. Once the overall rating is selected, the appraiser must select at least one, but not more than two location factors for the subject and comparables from the following list. Abbreviated entry, R-E-S is for residential, I-N-D, industrial, C-O-M-M -M for commercial, W-T-R-F-R -R for waterfront, G-L-F-C-S-E, golf course, A-D-J-P-R-K, adjacent to park, ADJPWR adjacent to power lines. LNDFL for landfill. PUBTRN for public transportation. And other appraiser to enter description of the location. As with view, if other is selected, the appraiser must enter an abbreviated description of the location. Appendix D states that descriptors such as none, NA, typical, and average are unacceptable. The GSEs produced a frequently asked question that addresses the use of the location field in the report. Prior to the introduction of the UAD, many appraisers used the location field to report the neighborhoods or market areas in which the subject property and comparable properties are located and to make adjustments based on the market reaction or differences, if any, between the neighborhoods. Can the location field in the sales comparison grid still be utilized for this purpose in a UAD appraisal report? No, the location field in a UAD appraisal report is for rating and describing the location of the subject and the comparable properties within the neighborhood or market area. In those instances where it is necessary to use one or more comparable properties that are located in a different neighborhood or market area than the subject property, the appraiser can report this information by using one of the three blank fields located at the bottom of the form and if necessary make appropriate adjustments in a page 76%. Uh, Page 33, site and view. The appraiser must insert the site size in the sales comparison grid in numeric format. For sites smaller than one acre, square footage must be used. For sites larger than one acre, the acreage calculated to two decimal places must be entered. No other data is permitted in this field. This requirement applies to the 1004 and 2055 forms. And it shows site 1.25 acres and 34,848 square feet. View B and then woods N and then res. View for the subject and all comparable properties as is entered into the sales comparison grid in much the same manner as view was indicated on page one of the form. This requirement applies to all UAD form types in the page 78%.